Hello and welcome to Cricket Next YouTube channel. I'm Vinit Ramakrishnan from Eden Gardens, Australia versus South Africa. Semi-final has just been uh, done and Australia have made it to yet another final. We'll be uh, facing up to India in the summit clash in Ahmedabad. But let's talk about the game in itself. South Africa came into this uh, uh, semi-final with the tag of Joker, with zero to four uh, uh, scoreline in terms of their semi-final uh, appearances and uh, wins. And unfortunately, it becomes a zero-five. But this was one of those games where uh, South Africa would think back and look back and would say that this is something that they missed out on. This was a golden opportunity for them to break that jinx or break that semi-final failure jinx. But then they were not that good enough on the day they were pretty much good uh put up two fight backs one with the bat and other with the ball as well with the bat they started poorly 24 for four which eventually they took it to 212 riding mainly on david miller's a brilliant century then with the ball while defending the total of 212 uh they got off the poor start with the ball david won travis had blazing their way 64 uh, no loss in the sixth over. David Warner got out, but Travis had maintained that tempo and they were pretty much 99 for uh, two by the 10 uh, over mark. And it looked like that uh, this match is probably going one way only, and that is the Australian uh, way. But that was not to be. That was not to be because this is Eden Gardens, the slowness of the pace, the grip that the spinners uh, got, uh, especially the case of Maharaj and, of course, of the Shanti meant that uh, they were in the fight and at one point in time australia were down and out at 137 for five using good well to win dire situation but then again it came down to experience it came down to nerves the experience of uh, the australian batters australian players in general to have experienced you know a uh, big match situation special situations remember Seven veterans of this squad were part of the 2015 World Cup. Uh, most of them were also part of the 2021 World Cup, World T20 Triumph as well. And that experience, that nerve really showed for South Africa. Uh, it was another story of a so near yet uh, so far. Kesha Maharaj plaudits to them. Kabre uh, Shamji plaudits to them. They bowled really, really well, but really lacked that uh, killer instinct right at the and Kagi Sorabada did not bowl after his six over spell. He had some issues with his ankle. That is the reason why he could not come up. Maybe uh, Kagi Sorabada, if he had been fit and if he had bowled those overs late in the piece, maybe a Pat Cummins or Mr. Sark would not have been batting and would not have hit the winning runs. But a lot of learnings, a lot of mistakes and a lot of uh, what you call uh, thing back uh, to do for uh, the South African unit. Rob Walters, their coach, was the one who came at the press conference. And the biggest question was around Temba Bauma. Uh, if he was not 100% fit, why did he uh, be part of the playing 11? Of course, he got out for a zero. But Dow Walter said, you know, it is a leadership quality of Temba Bahuma. That was the most inspirational thing about this entire tournament. And they wanted him to be there. And of course, in the field, a credit to Temba Bahuma that he did not look that he was unfit. He was uh, very, very, you know, quick uh, on the outfield. He marshaled the troops really well. Rob Walters did credit but Temba Bahuma. Uh, for uh, you know South Africa taking this game too deep, he did concede that 212 target was a below par one. But then again, I know South African bowlers and the fielders they did it really well. Fielding, of course, a uh, bit of uh, lackluster approach. This is a handy drop by Cash Quinton because of three catches. So all these uh, you know small small ifs and buts as what uh, would be what became eventually you know one of the turning points or decisive points for uh, South Africa. Quinton Dickock retires. Uh, he he would retire without. A World Cup uh, to his name or a World Cup final appearance uh, to his name will go down as one of the greatest of the ODI game uh, for the time being. But uh, there were a lot of positives for South Africa as the uh, youngsters, Marco Jans and Gerald Kozbi, the way Heinrich Klaas and David Miller, Rafi Van Der Dusen really played. You know, it pretty much sets up the core for them uh, in the next uh, few years uh, to come. For Australia, on the other hand, they were very confident that they'll be able to get to the South Africa hurdle, and they pretty much uh, did that. It was a pitch that was very tricky. It was a pitch that uh, had a lot of demons. For Travis and David Warner got them off to a blazing start. Mitchell Marsh got out a fantastic catch. Also, Van der Dusen, Smith, and Labus Cagney. Uh, iffy forms they had, but still they got those white tails. Josh English put in a decent performance, a white tail 20. Uh, eight, uh, 29 runs, you know, under pressure situation. But then, then again, you know, Pat Cummins was the man leading uh, from the front, so to uh, speak. For the second time in this tournament, he had his, he stood in the middle of the ground with his hands raised with a bat in his hand. 
So kudos uh, to him. Uh, Pat Cummins, uh, Mitchell Stark was the one who came in for the press conference after the match and he said they are looking forward for the Indian challenge and it could be in a way poetic justice for Australia that the first match they played was against India. They were blown away like anything in Chennai and their final match is against India in Ahmedabad. It will be an interesting contest, uh, India versus Australia. Uh, memories of 2003 back, it was asked for, for, from Mitchell Stark, you know, what does he remember of that game? He said he remembers an Australian win and that is something that he will lie uh, come November 19th. So that is it from me. From here, it was a fantastic game, a pot boiler, so to speak, an antithesis to what we saw in the one today, the carnage with the bat. Uh, but that concludes uh, all the, you know, preparations for number 19. It is set India versus Australia in Ahmedabad. And with that, I am Vinay Pramagatham signing off. For cricket next year from the Eden Gardens.